uh, Kanye and how how big was that when he first put you on his on his album? What up, Ye? This is Larry Hoof Jr. First and foremost. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. You know what I mean? When you think about, um, when I think think about like last year, year, year or so ago, uh, Kanye and, you know, like, well, it was a little bit more before that, but how did you, like, like, like how how big was that when he first put you on his on his album? Like, that's huge because a lot of people, you know, never experienced nothing like that. You know, even I know it for the cause for your father too. What up, yeah? This is Larry Hoof Jr. First and foremost, I want to thank you for taking a fight for my father. Man, it was it was big. I was nervous, you know. <laughs> I bet I, I wasn't used to being like on a platform like that. So it was, um, man, it was a, a big situation in my life. Uh, you know, that was another um, monument, monumental moment for me mm. to be put on that album. It was crazy because, what's the, oh my goodness, I can't think of his name. The guy that actually put it on the album was the same guy that did it for Mike Dean. Okay. Mike Dean was the one that put my father's stuff on there. He was with Rap A Lot back yeah. then. And then it just so happened that I sent it in to Mike Dean and he put it together for Kanye. So that was That's a, that's a Yeah. Man, that's a huge to be honest, he knew he knew. He knew how to do it for sure. Yeah, but it was um yeah, it was a it was a monumental moment. I was nervous. I didn't know what to say or what to do, but it was a big moment in my did life. Did people come like did 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 that get certain people to recognize you and and, and people come up and say hey you was on that you were on that album? Oh, well yeah, it, it helped. <laughs> hey, it helped. It helped lay another platform. Yeah, you know, I've been. See, people think it's just all good. Oh, you Larry Hoover Jr. They don't understand. There's a lot of negativity to come yeah, with that. Yeah. Even with me living my life the way that I've been living my life, the name says something else for other people. Yeah, you know, yeah. Like people think that it's just a the world is yours and everything is at your feet because of that. You mm -hmm. know, it's um, it's not true. So that kind of helped put me on the platform, let some people hear that. No, nah, this ain't that. This is you know, this is a human, uh, a positive human, and they going through things. This is their family, their life, and all that. So it it kind of opened it up for how, you know other people to be accepting too. How did you like it when you heard it? Dude, Still don't different. like it. I don't like my voice. You don't bit. like it. I mean, it. I like it. I like it, but his voice, you know, just hearing himself, just hearing myself is kind of like ah. Uh, you think he's not true? You, know, you used to say that. Some yeah, people happy like to it. hear themselves or see themselves. You know, I kind of be like. Uh, She's the same way. I, I just kind of, like I just voice. know that that's who I am. So I have to embrace it. I'd be like, I got to embrace it. I got to do it. I can't, because you got, I, I look, I look well, at. your voice sound great. Yep. I, whatever. But I look at things different. I, I look at it as if I'm doing something that's going to help somebody. So I, just the way you speaking out, because you know, it, it puts eyesight on the fact of light on your dad and yeah. him being locked up and you speaking. And that's the part where it motivates me to do it. And, and, and I get confidence behind it because I know that I pray about it. So yeah. that's what make me feel like, okay, it's cool. Yeah, some people may do something and be like, look at this, look at this. And I may do it and they, be, they see it and they like, hey, let's look at this. And I'm like, I don't wanna look at that. <laughs> that's my wife, come here, let's look. Here go to, I'm like, well, how are you supposed to get better at doing what you're doing if you don't see that's what exactly you That's exactly right, like, that's so true. And I'd be like, ah. That's what made me watch some of my interviews because at first I would not watch my interview. I'll just do it and leave it alone. Right. But in order for me to grow, I have to, hear myself, hear what I'm saying, and learn how to tweak it next time to make it come across better. Yeah. Did you, when you did the Drink Champs with uh, Kanye, what was, your, what was your mindset going into that? Because I think about the small things, you know what I'm saying, but it's really big things because of the fact of you sitting down on this panel and you know how many people are about to start, about to watch this. <laughs> I didn't know what that was going to look like. I was, you know, I was nervous. I was kind of there. Just, it was like I was a more than a fly on the wall. Yeah. You know, I was actually a part of it, but it was still like, ah, ah, ah. Did you, you know. Did you take a drink? I don't think I took a drink. Because I always think that when I think about drink champs, I think everybody go on there and drink and get. But, you know, I had, before we went, I had told Kanye, because, 
you know, he was doing the Sunday service. Yeah, and yeah. All that, and I'm like, I asked him, are you going to have a, 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 a stand-in drink person for you, or how you going to deal with that part? <laughs> I was surprised that he took part in the show. I really? Didn't, I didn't take a drink. Really? Yeah, I, think he, I think he took some shots on the show. I yeah. can't remember. But you got to understand, you know, uh, Jesus turned water into wine. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> hey, that, you know, that's that's his choice if he decided not to take a drink. But you didn't I, take a drink. I didn't take a drink, but we know that I I will drink a little bit. <laughs> in the age. I don't, I don't, um, I don't have an issue with drinking. Yeah, I'm being social and having a good time. I want to so drink. I when, have a drink. What did you did when you watch? Did you watch it afterwards? Because I think of that as a big show. Even even me and I was a game with you and Jay, to be honest with you. Those times I was, because I'm, I'm locked in with you. Yeah. I'm looking at it like, okay, what are they doing to my boy, to be honest with you? Like, how they, how they handling you? I don't know Jay yet. You know what I'm saying? But you, I'm focused in like, okay, okay, how much? Because he don't, I know him. I know he ain't really rocking with these cameras like that. <laughs> So hey, I'm working on it every time. <laughs> every time it gets a little the bit, bit, you know, a little bit better. Yeah, and, you know, I keep I look at the situation like either I'm gonna do this or I'm not. You know, that don't take me all the way into being super comfortable. But I just have to keep telling myself, what you gonna do? Either you go do this or you not go do it. You know, so I'm trying to yeah, you know, do better with it as time goes on. Okay, do you ever go in your mind be like, man, I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> yeah, that that yeah that happens a little bit. Okay, uh, okay. So, yeah, that, that you know, but but I'm, then you, I'm thinking now while we going, did I say anything? Did I? Nah, say anything? No, <laughs> you didn't. That ain't what we do. Like you, I think I think it's and, and the good thing about it is the more you do it, the more comfortable you become with it. You know what to say. But sometimes you say stuff and certain people can take it and turn it and twist it. Yeah. There's all type of things people can do not to create the this this image or this this thing. So certain things that I'll put out, I look at this thing for I, that's why I never yeah. do certain things other people do. Yeah, like just live. I, yeah. I don't do none of that. I have yeah. to go through it to make sure that there's nothing there and I pray about it and before I even put it out to be honest with you. And I try to um Think before I speak. <laughs> it's hard though, cause you get caught in the moment. Yeah, but I try to. But that's that's a part of who I am as a person. Like even when I was talking about relationships, you don't want to say things that you can't take back. Yeah, cause you go home tonight. If you know it's I mean? something about the wife, you you might get checked. I, I, I think. You know what I'm <laughs> like I, I think a lot of these young guys, like they really start wars. Yeah. You know what I mean with the stuff they say, say. They get in the and they in the moment and say some stuff. Emotions. Yeah, but nah. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk.